Hi guys, so today I'm going to be deep cleaning my living room. Um, I've cleaned my living room before on a cleaning video, but I thought today I'll show you how I like deep clean it. At the moment it's quite a state and I'm just going to sort of do lots of little bits of cleaning in here and just show you how I deep clean it. Um, I'm just going to show you a before. So as you come into the room, as you can see, <laughs> cushions are falling off. Um, there's like dog toys everywhere and blankets everywhere that the dogs have pulled out of the beds. And it's just a mess everywhere. And oh, this is okay. But over here's a mess as well. And yeah, it's just a bit untidy. And also, I'm gonna show you how I clean like my skirting boards because they're white. They get very, very like dirty in here. So I'm gonna show you how I clean those as well. So bring on the time lapse of me cleaning. And I'll also sort of just show you all the products that I'm using. To clean up my skirtings, I always use this. This is the Flash All Purpose Cleaner Safe on Wooden Floors Cleaner. And I use it because uh, the skirtings are also wood. So it gives them a really good clean. It also smells really nice and fresh. I always use a toothbrush and also just a nice cloth as well, just to give everything a scrub. And then I always put it in a big bowl of warm water so that my hands don't get cold. And yeah, I just go in with my toothbrush first. And I just go over the edges of the skirtings because I have dogs and all that sort of thing. Uh, the muck really gets into sort of the grooves of the skirtings and they can just look really disgusting <laughs> to be quite honest. So I like to give them a good rub and I do this quite often because I have dogs uh, because they're always bringing in mud and it just makes everything look really untidy if I don't do it. So this is basically all I do. I give it a good scrub with the toothbrush and then I give it a rub down with the cloth as well. And basically it just gives it a nice fresh clean uh, scent to it and also just takes off the majority 
of the dirt as well. These actually need another paint, so I need to do that at some point, but I just haven't got around to doing it. But this just makes sure that everything's clean and that I know that they're clean as well. So I'm just gonna put you onto another time lapse and get on with this. my floors now I kept noticing that my floors like underneath the rugs look really really sort of lighter than the floors outside and I thought that maybe they had been uh, what's it called sort of stained by the sun but then I thought they wanted to go lighter so when I actually looked into it it was actually the fact that they were because they've got lots of grains in the wood it was actually dirt that got stuck in the grains and as you're washing over with a mop it's not actually cleaning them so I do this in like a three stage when I'm thoroughly cleaning my floors. I'm gonna make you laugh now because I broke my mop the other day. So now I've only got to poke the handle and I haven't got around to buying a new one. So you'll see me pottering around with this one. I also use one of those squirty mops as well. So I've got a clean little cloth here, which what I do is I just use this to dry the floor with and it just picks up any other dirt that the mop hasn't gotten out. I'm gonna take this one off because it's dirty. So dirty one, clean one, see? Oh. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to pop the clean one on for the drying purposes. And just get on to clean my wood. If you don't, you don't pick up all this dirt that was still left on the floor. If I just left it dry, that would still be on there. So that's why I do this extra stage. Just try and make sure that everything's getting picked up. So it might seem extreme, but it works. I 
thoroughly cleaned my living room um, I do always let the floor dry and then I go over again with the Hoover because I always find that once you've scrubbed there always seems to be little hairs again that have come up so I always give it a Hoover after but I'm pretty sure you know what that looks like. I'm just going to let you see what it's like now that it's sort of been tidied. The little doggies, the sofa's back into sort of place. They come in, the floors are still wet. Uh, yeah, but it's all tidy now. I've kept the hoover out to do the hoover. But it's all nice and tidy again. Yay! <laughs> what do you think? Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.